You know, um, I, will, I will go more broad than the McGaw YMCA, right? <laughs> so one is, I, I didn't say you're lacking. I said to be a great YMCA, you have to have a great international program, right? Uh, second is, and every YMCA is challenged with this, um, pressing the philanthropic case and the charitable status of the enterprise, both for your own purposes and for the purposes of the movement. Um, fundraising, both capital and, and annual giving, is a big challenge for all YMCA's, but it's the heart of who we are and what we do. It allows this YMCA and others to extend scholarship support for those who couldn't otherwise afford to participate. Uh, it creates a margin uh, for enterprise and invention and imagination. And I think all of our YMCA's uh, could advance beyond that. I would, I would hope that YMCA's would have a minimum target uh, of 20% of their annual budgets coming from charitable sources exclusive of government grants. Now, nationally, I said, we, we crossed over, I think I said this, we crossed over $5 billion in total economic enterprise for the YMCA in 2005. Um, that makes the Y system a billion dollars larger than all United Ways, a billion dollars larger than all Red Crosses, a billion dollars larger than the Salvation Army. Now, when Ms. Joan Crock's gift of a billion and a half actually transferred the Salvation Army, it'll change that year. Would that she had given us that billion and a half dollars. And I give my San Diego president a really hard time about the fact that it went to Salvation Army. This is, Mrs. Crock lived in San Diego. Um, and uh, of that, about a billion three hundred million comes from contributed sources. So figure it on five billion, that's a 23% or about uh, amount. Of that, about 400 million is government grants at all levels, city, county, state, and federal. So between 900 and a billion is charitable contributions by individual Americans to YMCA's. I would hope that our aspiration would be at least 20%. Uh, and that's tough. It's a highly competitive environment. Evanston is a highly competitive place. Great charities, the YWs, the United Ways, the Community Foundation, Northwestern University, on and on and on and on like that. But we know this. It's also an incredibly wealthy and generous community. And if the case can be made, case is what's most important. And then a professional approach to it. And volunteers have, had, have got to lead.